If you've used Windows for a while, you may have seen an entry point not found error that occasionally pops up when you try to start a program. While this can be caused by a few different files across a few different programs, there are a few general solutions to the issue. Here's what you can do. The easiest and most extensive solution you can try would be to use Windows File Checker to scan your system and fix any corrupted system files it finds. To start, right-click on your Start key and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Click Yes on the warning that pops up and a terminal window will appear. From here, type in SFC forward slash scan now. Then tap Enter. Windows will then get to checking your system. Once it's done running, feel free to close it, reboot your PC, and run your program again. If that doesn't work, you can try fixing or adding the file manually. Click on the link in the description below and download the file underneath. Visual Studio 2015, 2017, and 2019. Note that there are three versions of the file available for download based on your system type. To check which one you need, tap on your Windows key, type in About Your PC, then tap Enter. On the window that pops up, you'll see what you need to know next to System Type under Device Specifications. If it reads 32-bit, you'll need to download the x86 version of the file. If it reads 64-bit, you'll need to download the x64 version. While if it reads ARM64 or anything similar, the ARM64 version will be what you need. Once your file finishes downloading, right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Dismiss any warnings and follow the on-screen prompts to install the program. After it's installed, try running your program again. If it still doesn't work, the issue may be a program-specific file that may have been corrupted. The best thing to do in this case is to reinstall the program itself. If you downloaded the installer from the internet, you can try re-downloading the latest installer. If you liked this guide, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows 10 and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy. Thank you.